What's up guys, it's Kallen, and in this video we'll be taking a look at Vengeance Demon Hunters on the battle for Azeroth Beta. We're going to be taking a look at their baseline abilities as well as their passives, then we'll be looking at their talents and PvP talents. Now just like my other overview videos, the purpose of this is not meant to tell you which talents to pick for the best tanking, or if Vengeance is one of the best specs at tanking. This is merely to show you what's to come. So, let's get started. So here are all the baseline abilities for the Vengeance Demon Hunter. So first off we have Sigil of Silence which is not change at all. One minute cooldown places a Sigil of Silence at the target location that activates after 2 seconds, silencing all enemies affected by the Sigil for 6 seconds. So as I said, it is not changed. Now Sigil of Misery had its cooldown increased from 1 minute to 1.5 minutes. And it places a Sigil, you know, it activates after 2 seconds, causing all enemies affected by it to cower in fear, disorienting them for 20 seconds, which is down from 30 seconds on live. So it is a slight nerf. Then there's Sigil of Flame, which is not changed. So still a 30 second cooldown, activates after 2 seconds, dealing fire damage to an enemy, and then more fire damage over 6 seconds to all enemies affected by the Sigil. And then there's Demon Spikes, which now costs no pain. On live it costs 15 pain, so no more pain. And it says Surge with Fell Power, increasing your armor by some amount, and your parry chance by 15% for 6 seconds. That 15% is based off of your mastery. On live it would actually reduce your physical damage taken, by some percentage but this says uh, increases your armor which are I guess kind of go hand in hand really. Then there's consume magic which is new. I mean the name consume magic should look familiar to you because that's what your interrupt was called. Your interrupt was called consume magic. You still have an interrupt don't worry it's just not called consume magic but they gave you this new ability called consume magic. It does a 10 second cooldown you consume one beneficial magic effect from your target removing it and then granting you 20 pain. Pretty good ability. Then there's fiery brand which is not changed. One minute cooldown brands an enemy with a demonic symbol instantly dealing fire damage and reducing the damage they deal to you by 40% for eight seconds and then metamorphosis so it still has a three minute cooldown transforms to demon form for 15 seconds your artifact weapon i believe made that 17 seconds but base still did 15 seconds on live and then it increases your current and maximum health by 30 percent and once again i think your artifact weapon made that 45 percent but baseline it was always 30 percent and then your armor by 100 percent and you generate seven pain every one second so really the only change to it is it will no longer buff sheer when you go into metamorphosis and then there's imprint Prison. So in prison, only change to it is its cooldown is being increased from 15 seconds to 45 seconds for whatever reason. It's still a CC, you can use it on demons, beasts, or humanoids, incapacitating them for one minute, and then damage will cancel the effect. But yeah, its, it's cooldown is just being increased. Now we have Torment, it's not changed, it is your taunt, 8 second cooldown. And then Infernal Strike, the only change to Infernal Strike is its recharge is being increased from 12 seconds to 20 seconds. So I guess a slight nerf there because you won't be able to use it as often. You still leap through the air towards a targeted area, dealing fire damage to that area within 6 yards and it has 2 charges. So its recharge is just getting increased. Then Immolation Aura, it has no changes, it still has a cooldown based off your haste, engulfs yourself in flames, instantly causing fire damage to enemies within 8 yards, and then radiating more fire damage every second for 6 seconds. And then it still generates 20 pain over 6 seconds. And then we have Shear. So Shear is an enemy for physical damage and shatters a lesser soul fragments from your target. So with that being said, I, I believe it has a 100% chance to shatter a lesser soul fragment from your target, whereas on live, it says it has a small chance, whatever that's supposed to mean. And it still generates 10 pain, if I didn't say that already. Then we have Soul Cleave. So Soul Cleave now costs a strict 30 pain, on live it costed anywhere from 25 to 50 pain, and it like healed you more depending on how much pain you spent on it, but it just costs 30 pain now. So you viciously strike all enemies in front of you, dealing physical damage and then healing you, and it consumes up to two soul fragments within 25 yards, whereas on live, it would consume all soul fragments. So it's just two now. And then there is Throw Glaive, which is not changed at all. It has around a two to three second cooldown based off your haste, throws a demonic glaive, dealing physical damage, and it can ricochet to two enemies within 10 yards, and it generates high threat. And then Disrupt. So this is what your interrupt is. Used to be called Consume Magic, as I just mentioned, and it's not really changed. I mean, it has a 15 second cooldown. You, whenever you interrupt something, they can't cast from that school for three seconds, but it will generate 30 pain when you successfully interrupt now, whereas on live it was 50 pain. So you get less pain for interrupting. Uh, and then there's Spectral Sight, which is not changed. 30 second cooldown. You can use it to see treasures through physical barriers. You can see stealth enemies, all that sort of stuff for 10 seconds. And then attacking or taking damage disrupts the sight. Now let's take a look at passive abilities. So Chaos Brand is new. Your fire damage brands the targets, increasing magical damage taken by 5%. So that's really nice. Demonic Wards 
did have, I think, like slight nerf or maybe a buff, however you want to see it. Your tattoos reduce all damage taken by 10%. On live, it's 20%, so that part is getting nerfed. Increases your stamina by 65%, that's the same on live. And your armor by 80%. On live, it's 75%. So, your damage taken, it's going down 10%, but your armor is going up by 5%. And then you have double jump, obviously the most overpowered move in the game. Demon Hunters can double jump, it's not changed. Now your mastery will buff your demon spikes based on your agility now. So it says it increases your armor bonus of demon spikes by whatever percentage based off your agility. And it still increases your attack power by some percent. And then Shattered Souls. So it has four effects there as you see. The third one is new. So I'll just read through them. Killing a target will sometimes shatter their soul, leaving a soul fragment behind for 20 seconds. That's the same on live. The soul fragment will be consumed when you approach it, healing you for some amount which is the same on live. Consuming a lesser soul fragment heals you for 8% of all damage taken in the last 5 seconds. Minimum of 1% of maximum health. That one is new. And then consuming a demon soul will grant you 20% increased damage for 15 seconds. Now let's take a look at the talent and then I'll also go over PvP talents in case you care about those at all. So for the first tier, the level 99 tier, Abyssal Strike is not changed. So Infernal Strike range is increased by 10 yards and its cooldown is reduced by 8 seconds. So, not change. Agonizing Flames is also not changed. Passive Immolation Aura increases your movement speed by 30% and deals 20% increased damage. And then Razor Spikes did have a nerf to it. So, while Demon Spikes is active, you deal 15% increased physical damage. On live, that's 30%. So, that's being halved. And your melee attacks snare targets for 20% for 6 seconds. Which, that is a 50% on live. So, the snare is also being nerfed. Then the level 100 tier. This is actually completely unchanged. Feast of Souls not changed. Soul Cleave heals you for more health over 6 seconds. Fallout is not changed. Immolation Aura's initial burst has a chance to shatter lesser soul fragments from enemies. And then Burning Live is not changed. Passive. Every 2 seconds your fire brand deals fire damage and spreads to one nearby enemy. So the level 102 tier. Flame Crash is not changed. Infernal Strike creates a sigil of flame when you land. So, it's not changed. Now, Charred Flesh, this actually used to be an artifact ability called Fiery Demise. So what it does is Fiery Brand increases the fire damage your abilities deal to the target by 20%. So as I just said, used to be an artifact ability called Fiery Demise. Except Fiery Demise, if you had all 4 points into it, that was 40%. So they just nerfed it and uh, turned it into a talent. And then Fellblade, its effect is not changed, cooldown still based off your haste. Charge two targets, dealing fire damage. Shear has a chance to reset the cooldown of Fell Blade, but it generates 30 pain up from 20 pain. So it is getting buffed. Generates 30 pain now. Then the 104 tier, Soul Rendering. The first effect of it is new, so it increases your leech by 5%, but then the second effect, gain an additional 25% leech while Metamorphosis is active. On live, that's 50%. So that is getting uh, massively nerfed. It's being halved. And then we have Feed the Demon. So consuming a soul fragment reduces the remaining cooldown of demon spikes by 0.5 seconds. On live, that's one second. So it is getting nerfed, it's being halved. And then we have Fracture. So Fracture is pretty much completely changed, sort of, kind of. It will now replace Shear. It has a recharge based off of your haste. It costs no pain, rapidly slashes your target for some physical damage and shatters two lesser soul fragments from them. It generates 25 pain and has two charges to it. So, there's that. Then we have the 106 tier, which is actually not changed at all. It's completely unchanged. Concentrated sigils, passive. All sigils are now targeted at your location, and then duration of the effects is increased by 2 seconds. So, it's not changed. Quicken sigils is also not changed. Passive, all sigils activate 1 second faster, and their cooldowns are reduced by 20%. Not change. Sigil of Chains, one and a half minute cooldown, places the Sigil of Chains at the target, activates after two seconds. All enemies affected by the Sigil are pulled to its center and are snared, reducing their movement speed by 70% for six seconds. So that is also not change. The level 108 tier. So Gluttony is new. Now this used to actually be an artifact trait called Fueled by Pain. And what it does is consuming a soul fragment has a chance to activate Metamorphosis for five seconds. So there's that. And then there's Spirit Bomb. So Spirit Bomb now costs 30 pain. On live, it costs no pain. It consumes up to five soul fragments. On live, it would consume all soul fragments. So now it's up to five. Within 25 yards, and then explodes. Afflicting nearby enemies with frailty for 20 seconds and damaging them for some fire damage per fragment. And you heal for 10% of all damage you deal with frailty. So on live, you heal for 20%. Of all damage you deal. And then there's Fell Devastation. So the only change to it is it will cost no pain now, whereas on live it costed 30 pain. And its effect is still the same. 
One minute cooldown, unleash the fell within you, damaging enemies directly in front of you for some fire damage over 2 seconds, causing damage also heals you for some amount. And in level 110 tier, the last tier, last resort is not changed, completely unchanged, passive, sustaining fatal damage instead transforms you to metamorphosis form and returns you to 30% health, this effect may only occur once every 8 minutes, and then there's void reaver, which is new. So it's passive. Enemy struck by Soul Cleave deals 6% less damage to you for 12 seconds. So that's new. And then Soul Barrier, no pain now. On live it costs 10 pain. So that's really the only change to it. 30 second cooldown, you shield yourself for some amount, absorbing some damage, consumes all soul fragments within 25 yards to add more to that per fragment. It had some rewording, like I believe on live it has a lot more words to it, but I think fundamentally it pretty much does the same thing. And now let's take a look at the PvP talents. So if you're unaware of how PvP talents will work in BFA, this is how it works. You have these four bubbles here. This first bubble is the same for all classes and all specs. It has Gladiator's Medallion, Relentless, and Adaptation. You get to pick between one of these three. They're all in the first tier on live, and you can pick between one of them on there. And they all do the same thing. They're not changed. Uh, these next three bubbles are a giant pool of your already existing PvP talents. So it's no longer in a tier system. It's on this giant pool system, so you can pick any of these three. So let's say three you might really like that are on the same tier on live. You can pick them in BFA, as long as they haven't been pruned, because that's pretty much all the changes. They just pruned a few of them off. I believe three of them have actually been changed. Three honor talents, PvP talents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mouse over them. I'm going to read the name. If you want to know what they do, you can pause the video, or you can look at your Vengeance Demon Hunter, of course. But for the three that have changes to them, I'll of course explain what those changes are. So the first change is to Solitude. So, increases your pain generation by 10% on live, that's 20%, so it is getting nerfed, and then attack speed by 10%, whereas on live, that's 15%, when there are no allies within 15 yards. So, Solitude is getting a little bit of nerf to it. And then there's Cleanse Flame, Everlasting Hunt, Jagged Spikes, Illidan's Grasp, Tormentor, Sigil Mastery, Demonic Trample, Reverse Magic, and then there's Detainment. So Detainment has a slight change to it. Imprisoned's PvP duration is increased by 2 seconds. On live, that's 1 second. And the targets become immune to damage and healing while imprisoned. Cooldown increased to 60 seconds, uh, whereas on live, it's increased to 45 seconds. But the thing is, Imprisoned already has a 45 second cooldown, so it only makes sense to increase that by another 15 seconds. And then there's Unending Hatred, which is a passive. Taking magical damage causes you to gain pain with larger attacks granting more pain. So on live, if you just took magical damage, you took a strict five pain, or you gained a strict five pain. So yeah, now you gain more pain depending on how much damage that ability does to you. So those are all the PvP talents, as well as all of the normal talents. And there you have it, all the changes coming to Vengeance Demon Hunters and the Battle for Azeroth beta. And this also marks my last spec overview video for Battle for Azeroth, but I'm curious to know what you guys think of these changes. Do you hate them? Or do you love them? You can let me know in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then you can leave a like on it. You could sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.